So my current issue is this has 220,000 miles and I don't think this valve cover has ever been changed. So today we're gonna do that. One of the issues I'm actually having is that it's smoking at a weird, um, at a weird idle, like 1,800 RPMs around that area. Uh, some people said, obviously it could be turbos, which is very plausible, but just as a precaution, might as well change the valve cover because that's what people say it messes with the PCV system. And I mean, it's 15 bucks, so you know, why not? thing that was a little bit annoying was uh these are ground uh ground points that go on a post that are right here what you do is you get a 10 millimeter and you don't put it in all the way you pretty much rest it right about like if I can get it in right about there so it doesn't actually clip in there's still like i don't know half quarter of an inch left um just because the posts are like way too long some stupid bmw just has a freaking like why does that need to be that long like literally just shorn it by like a quarter of an inch and we've been fine but in typical bmw fashion things just don't make sense sometimes and you need a special tool for this this and that but it comes off with a normal 10. uh and then injectors plugs and then um mm -mm -mm, pcv line back here which is actually the second thing I'm gonna try and fix. Um, there's like a slight crack right there, which could be the issue to my um, my smoking. But also, I was looking here. There's hard to see. There's some oil down there, and it looks like it's kind of leaking from uh, that little PCV, um, the PCV adapter right there. So we'll see. All of the uh, all of the bolts, I think, out all of them. Uh, a little bit of a bitch. Maybe took like 10, 20 minutes. Probably like 20 minutes. And now we're uh, down to the final pull. This just doesn't come off, man. I don't know how someone's supposed to get this off. Like melted this together or something. This is part of this. Try it and do is Move this out this way. All right, so I had to cut these lines. Uh, which are the vacuum booster lines because they were just not coming off at all. So we can tuck these under here. Uh, this this way. This is in here. Oh, 
one more knife. One more. Okay. Alright, so the valve cover is like an inch off the head. So it should be good. Two hundred twenty thousand miles. Looks spotless. No gunk. A little bit of debris from the uh, gasket. See the valve springs down there. Two hundred twenty thousand miles. That is pretty impressive. See the valve cover. Uh, another thing they said to check for was uh, cracks and to see if these uh, breather valleys right here, I think they're called, are um, gunked up, but they seem to be looking acceptable. But uh, probably gonna take a flashlight to it at night and just like go through it and look for any cracks. Uh, I don't know what that is. That's on the, the driver's side. For 220,000 miles. Ah, they don't look that bad. Alright, so I have the uh, new valve cover gasket on. I uh, just want to get one last final video. The inside of the 220,000 mile N54. No sludge. One of the spark plug metal things is in the valve cover. Nothing. All right, well, uh, I'm gonna end the video here. Gonna put the uh, new gasket on. Also gonna end up replacing this guy that's in the back, this is half of it. The other half broke off. Uh, that was actually the other culprit of the smoking, um, just because this is leaking air to the atmosphere if there's a crack. So uh, 30 bucks, replace that. New valve cover gasket, $15. And uh, we'll see what happens.